Okay. Um, I'm back. All right. It's topic Tuesday. And the topic, the topic, the topic of today is for the men, 10 commandments to pleasing a woman. And I got this 10 commandments out of Steve Harvey's book again, Straight Talk, No Chase. <laughs> he got 10 commandments to pleasing a woman. <laughs> so I got this. And my brother's on the line. I got Mike and Tony. And y'all were saying that it reminds you of the 10 commandments song by who? Who is that? I'm, I'm thinking that I, I thought it was the John 5. Now I'm having second thought. Okay, but how does it go? I, I think that? it's... Um, uh, Mike, Mike was singing the lyrics. How, how you sing that I again? Think it's the moon, I think it's the moon glows, and it goes like this. Moon. It might be the moon glows. Thou shalt never love another. No, yeah. I remember that. Two and stand by me all, all the way. way. Three. 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 Take happiness with the heart oh, yes. And in the background, you can hear the guy giving the deep bass. Four, yeah. Four, and go through life like four and Smile. Oh, how happy we can be if we keep the ten commandments of love. brother's take on that. This is Topic Tuesday, Old School Queenie. We going through it. This is our old school. All right. Let me read. All right. <clears throat> Since I got y'all on the line, let me read. Right. Now, now, Steve Harvey got 10 commandments to pleasing a woman. Number one, thou shalt give her free time. <laughs> <laughs> and he got he said that's number one he said make make the time for her to be able to take a class or pursue a hobby that she's been putting off because she's too busy with work and the kids to spend quality time doing something she loves so that's number one all right ten commandments two number two thou shalt remember the small things and what he mean by that is rubber back and feet Run her bath water. Give her uh, a quality alone time without obligation obligation to give you some cookie for your troubles. <laughs> <laughs> that was number two commandment. Yeah. <laughs> number three, thou shalt, number three commandment, thou shalt consistently find new ways to say, I love you. And what he means is, love notes go a long way. Slip one in her wallet, briefcase, or lunch bag just because. She'll appreciate that you were thinking about her and told her you love her without prompting. All right. So mm -hmm. that's commandment number three. All right. Commandment number four. four. Thou shalt chip in. So chip in, wash the dishes, do a load of laundry, clean the bathroom, or do some other chores she usually handles. If you can't, yeah, if you can't or don't want to handle it yourself, hire someone to do it for you. That'll be one less thing she'll have to do, and she'll be grateful for the help. That was commandment number four. I'm reading 10 commandments to pleasing a woman. 
five. Here go number five commandment. <laughs> Thou shalt help with the kids. Offer to put them to bed a couple of nights a week or run them to their extracurricular activities. She could probably use the help. Okay? That was commandment, ten commandments. That was number five. All right? Six. Number six. Thou shalt embrace the art of foreplay. Ooh, I like that one, y'all. <laughs> we'll be if we keep the Ten Commandments of Love. Oh, Lord. That's number six. <laughs> Let me read. If candlelight and soft music used to get her in a romantic mood, but you haven't used either of them in years, get back to romancing her. She'll appreciate the effort and respond in a kind and respond in kind. So that was... <laughs> Commandment number six. number six. I'm reading Ten Commandments to Pleasing a Woman. Seven. Seven. Thou shalt respect her schedule. Hmm. <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure, you should be able to get in a little overtime at work or go for a three-day golf weekend with the guys without being hassled about it, but it's better for everyone involved if you coordinate your schedule with hers instead of assuming that she will just handle the house, the kids, and whatever else is coming the family's way while you're out having a while you're out having a good time. So that was commandment number seven. Thou shalt Respect her schedule, too. Yeah, you got a schedule, but respect her schedule. All right, I'm reading. I like this. Ten Commandments to Pleasing a Woman. Steve Harvey. Number eight. Uh, thou shalt send her roses just because. Just because. I like that, Steve. Don't, don't, don't. Now, what he's saying on number eight, thou shalt send her roses. Don't wait, don't wait for birthdays, anniversaries, and holidays to shower her with the things she loves. A simple bouquet of flowers or a pack of her favorite candy is a kind gesture that will show her you were thinking about her. Okay? I like that. Well, I can't sense roses when really smell like that. I like, I told my man, I like a, I told my man I like a slice of chocolate cake. If he pop up with a slice of chocolate there cake, go. oh my God. Mm, ain't that chocolate? Woo! Hey, I, I'm in heaven with a slice of chocolate cake. All righty. Now we on commandment number nine that Steve wrote. Thou shalt remember the golden rule. You can be happy or you can be right. So I don't know what he mean by that. You can be happy uh, or you can be right. I, 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 can, I, I can, Okay, go ahead, here's, Mike. Here's what, here's what he means by that. Thou shalt no remember the happens, golden rule. He's right. <laughs> no matter no matter what. If mama if, ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. Ain't nobody so happy no in the household. Going, you're right. I should have done that. Right. You're right. I'm sorry. Apologize, right. apologize, 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 apologize. Ooh, apologize. Lord. You're, You're right. Hey. Tell her she's right. Oh, my God. Thank y'all. Thank you, brothers. And number 10 <laughs> commandment that Steve wrote, thou shalt always take her side. Oh, yeah. Of course, your mother taught yeah. you. Oh, now he's, he's saying, of course, your mother taught you that she's always right. The woman you yeah. sleep, but the woman you sleep with at night must feel like you've got her back no matter who she's going up against. She'll right. give you the same support, too. So those are the Ten Commandments right. that Steve Harvey wrote of how to please a woman. Ten Commandments to pleasing a woman. Number one, right. thou shalt give her free time. Thou shalt remember the small things. Thou shalt consistently find new ways to say I love you. Number four, thou shalt chip in. Thou shalt help with the kids. Thou shalt Embrace the art of foreplay. Number seven, thou shalt respect her schedule. Thou shalt send her roses just because. Thou shalt 
Remember the golden rule. And number 10, thou shalt always take her side. Because you're a team. You're on a team. You know, I, I look at, you know, me and my man as a team. And so I'm always be on his side, support him. I, I, I look at him as, as he's a team member. I'm a team. I'm on his team. He's on my team. And so, yeah, we a team. And so I, I'm going to take his side. But back at home, you know, that's out in public. But back at home, they're, oh, well, we'll have our little powwow. And I might let them know I might have disagreed a little bit. Behind closed doors. We don't do nothing out in public, you know. So what y'all what y'all think of Steve well, Harvey's Ten Commandments? Let's sing that song. Oh well, how happy, happy we will be if we keep the Ten Commandments of love. Of love. Yes. Yes. That is a beautiful song and your audience need to look it up. Okay. Yeah. It is a beautiful song. It yeah. will it will definitely teach people what they need to know about yeah. their significant other and how to treat them. Yes. And probably, on a personal note, I said, I, I believe love. you're long-winded, brother. You could have simply said, date her for the rest of your life. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I like that, too. <laughs> That's a we, good one, right? Yeah. I got to date. date. Yeah. That's all it is. Yeah. That's it's all dating. Is. And, you know, yeah. That, you know, it's something that's nice. Like, yeah. You got like it. You got 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 You got it. 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 You got that you can think of the, to impart to our new school? I have one commandment. To please in the women now. Ten commandments. Okay, go on. One go on. thing I, I want to tell the new folks when it comes to dating, and that is there is no such thing as a man or a woman. Get it out of your head, whatever you think she's supposed to be, and love her for who she is. Oh, you. Because she thank will you, never Mike. measure up to what's in your brain. Yes. You didn't make her. That's and right. Thank you, Mike. You. That's right. Yep. I like that. Yeah. That yeah. expectation ruins everything. Well, it's about respect. You respect each other's it differences. Doesn't. You do respect it each doesn't. other's differences. If you don't know how to show respect, and a lot of these millennials are very disrespectful, man. You don't respect. Oh, yeah. oh they're disrespectful. They don't know how to respect each other. Or they, they, they want to buck mom and pop before they even get out in the world to learn anything. You bucking your mother now, and the teenage. As a teenager, now, you start disrespecting now, from teenage on out. Right. Now, I want the world to know this ain't me. This is what I'm saying just to get the idea across. Mm -hmm. Hey, look, I call my woman a bitch all the time. Ooh. So that makes you think that you can call the next woman a bitch? Oh, the next no. Woman, especially if you want to one of my daughters, is going to take a knife to you when you call her a bitch. That's right, because that's fighting words. That's, hey, because that's a fighting word. That's fighting words. No, you don't call me no bitch. No. I'm, I'm even going to throw it in this way. Nigga? What do you mean, nigga? Right. You don't do yeah, nigga? Oh, oh, no. Look, no, I'm it's not. It. I'm no. not a I'm not your nigga. That's gaining and achieving. That's not what I am. I'm a man. Because nigga to me is still an ignorant individual. Right. And that rather you say nigga, 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 no matter how you say it, a tomato is a tomato. I'm old school. 
I wish the young folks would stop saying it. Show a little pride in themselves. I, I wish they would too. too. I, I wish they would music. stop saying it. Uh, you know, and, and the girls. I, 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 don't, I do don't, have a friend. Don't do that. I better retract that. I do have a friend that I accept using it because, like you said, that's who, that's who he is. He's like that. I but it's not just men. I understand it, but I don't like it. But look, let me tell you, it's not just men using it. It is women, girls too. These young girls talking about some, hey, nigga, nigga, you this, nigga, you that. Like, wait a minute, hold up. Wait a minute now. That's not how you refer to, but, you know, the bit, the word bitch and the word nigga, those are fighting dirt. Those those are not, those are not terms, excuse me, but those are not terms of love. You're not, you're not, you don't call me. That's not how you show love to me and say, bitch, come here. Right. You don't say, bitch, come right. here. Or you don't say, nigga, come here. Hey, nigga. There's no respect that's, in that. That's, there's no right. respect. And you don't, you don't, you know, you, hey, I'm going to call my sweetheart, sweetheart. I'm going to call him my love, my darling, darling. Hey, sweetheart. You know, those are words of endearment and of love. You, right. you, you, you're not showing love. You call him nigga. Hey, nigga. Nigga, my nigga, my nigga, or right. oh, my bitch, get my bitch over there. Me. That oh, me. oh, that that's right. not love. That's not love. That's not showing love. And that ain't respect. It's not respect. It's not respect. When it comes to when it comes to talking to somebody, even if you don't like them, right? Even if you hate them, yeah. Even if you look down on them, yeah. You should always respect them. Exactly. Because I'm about to stand up. And have enough respect to think that I might like turn and come at you. Right. right. They can't you face you. You don't even show me that respect. No. So in that aspect, I still call everybody bro. I, I mean, back in the day, that's what we did. We said brothers. Right. You my sister or my brother. I don't call nobody out their name. You know, that's not showing love. No, it's not. No, I, I respect everybody. That little 10-year-old that little kid's coming down the road with his pants hanging down his butt in front of my infant child, and I don't have an infant child, my youngest is 22, my, in front of my infant child, make piss me off and make me say something to him. But well, I will look him in the eye and I will be very worried because that 10 year old child might snatch a gun out of them to the ass draws and lay me dead. Well, that's another subject. We're going to get, we done gotten away from the love and the Ten Commandments to pleasing oh, a woman. Pleasing a woman. <laughs> We got to please a woman. You don't call a woman a bitch. You don't call her out her name. And you show love. And that's it. And so on that's that right. note, we're yeah. going to end yeah. it. I'm going to end this subject because you're going to run into another subject that I would love to tap on separately from this pleasing woman. Ten, ten oh, commandments yeah. for pleasing a woman. So if you got any oh, t- audience, t- if you got any... T- uh, t- Tell Steve, I said vice versa. It's the same thing for pleasing a man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Same thing. Vice versa. Yeah. yeah. But if you got any comments, like you said, that's your comment, Mike. Pleasing a man. Ten commandments for pleasing a man. We're going to come up with that one if we want to. Uh, leave me a comment and come back next Tuesday.